Hi, my name is Brandon Suvo with First Class Garage Door Chicago Land. I'm here today to talk to you about photo eye adjustment. We're going to bring the camera in close. We'll show you the difference between the eyes. Uh, this is all going to be for a LiftMaster system. And then we'll show you the uh, warnings on the push button regarding the safety eyes being out of alignment or blocked. All right, so I just wanted to show you, this is an older model, but it says safety sensors. It'll say check alignment or miswiring. See owner's manual. On the newer ones, it has a different code, but it basically says the same thing. Check the photo eyes. So now here I'm gonna walk you through kind of diagnosing them and readjusting them. All right, so here we have the sending sensor or sending eye. This one has the orange or amber LED light on it. Uh, older versions of uh, LiftMaster safety eyes are going to have uh, two green lights, but on the newer systems they have an orange or amber and a green. So this sensor sends the signal. The orange or amber light should always be on. If it's off, either the, po the unit doesn't have power or there's something wrong with the board or there's a bad connection or a bad wire or a bad eye. All right, so here we are on the opposite side. From the sending eye, we have the receiving eye. The receiving eye has a green LED light. As long as the signal's getting across, so as long as there's nothing in the opening obstructing the, the beam or the photo eyes are aligned properly, assuming they are, then the green light should be on steady. You do need to watch because from a distance, it can oftentimes appear that the green light is on steady when in actuality it's not. Um, I'm going to try here and show you what I'm talking about right now. It's on steady. However, we'll put it all the way. So there it's totally off. I'm blocking it with my hand. Now I come out a little bit, just enough. And even still, it's flickering a little bit. However, from a distance, you may not be able to notice that flicker. It may appear to be on steady. So that little flicker is enough to cause the the sensor to tell the unit not to close. Alright so we're going to take a look up close at the photo eyes. We'll start over here on the right hand side and it's always easiest to do this uh, unless you're doing it at night. It's, uh, it's easy to do it with the garage door closed. Uh, makes it a little bit easier to see if the LED lights are on or not on the photo eyes. So here we have our sending eye. We have the orange light on so we know, well, there's a good chance that the, the eye is, is good, it's working fine. Doesn't necessarily mean it is, but you'd like to think. So first thing I would do is come look over the top like so, make sure that the, the sensor is square to the wall and the door, pointing point right across parallel with the door, which this one looks pretty good. So then we'll come over and take a look at this sensor. Same thing over the top, so I can see right away, uh, aside from the sensor itself, it's pointing directly, uh, it's pointing at the garage door. It's not pointing across the opening. Another way you can see that or tell, I don't know if this will come up on the video, but I can see there's a gap back here between the track and the bracket for the photo eye. And then we come around front, take a look, there's no, LED light and we should have a solid green LED on this photo eye so get this set up here so again we had a gap in the back here and we can see that the eye is pointing towards the door so we can grab the eye the bracket and the eye and bring it back get it tight up against the back of the track here and now we have a steady green LED light so that means that the sensor is aligned and if I interrupt it with my hand, the light goes off. Again, if you're close but not dead on, if that light flickers at all, it's not lined up properly. Uh, once you do, if you think you have it lined up properly, give it a wiggle test up and down as well as front to back. That light should not flicker at all when you wiggle it. The more you can shake it without it uh, flickering or going out, uh, the better chance that you're not going to have problems with 
It's not uncommon for the sensors to get hit, whether it be lawnmowers, snow blowers, shovels, etc. We always recommend keeping everything two to three feet back from the corners. The other thing you need to look out for, uh, spiders love these things. They make their webs right in front of them. So grass, leaves, um, cotton in the spring uh, and fall. Um, it'll get tangled up in there and it can cause problems. Um, it does, it's not necessarily a sensor issue, it's just the sensors are being blocked. Um, also on the bottom of the door, all the way across, cobwebs, grass, leaves, uh, the cotton. Um, so those are some things that you want to look out for too. Uh, generally if a photo eye is, is misaligned um, or blocked, the door is not going to come down at all. If you can get the door to come down a little bit and then it goes back up on its own and your lights flash on the opener 10 times, that's going to indicate that something's interrupting the photo eye. Um, being that the photo eyes on the newer models clip onto the door tracks uh, with bigger, heavier doors or if the photo eyes are on the verge of misalignment, um, the weight of the door and the vibration of the tracks can cause them to go out and make the door go back up mid-travel. Um, but if the door is getting really close to the ground and then reversing, more than likely either the door is bent and it's interrupting the sensor when it comes down, or there's cobwebs, um, some sort of debris hanging off the bottom of the door, and when it gets close enough, it blows in and uh, interrupts the beam. So I hope this video was helpful. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments section. If you liked the video and found it helpful, uh, appreciate a thumbs up and consider subscribing. Um, we're coming up on 150 subscribers for the channel, so I'd like to thank each and every one of you who has subscribed to the channel. And uh, hopefully we'll be getting some more videos out here shortly. Um, until the next one, we'll see you later.